All right, all right, everybody. We're back with Red Dead 2. Let's go uh, check out what Pearson's up to. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you oh don't my stop God. hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. Hey, hey, hey. I'm near me Enough! Soon. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! <laughs> well, come with me, then. You want to head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Hmm. All right, come on, Sadie. Yeah. You cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's about privacy, Sadie. Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Yeah, you should just kind of stop blah, blah, there. Boring. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a... Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Morning, partner. Morning? Hey, say, Star Hey, you want me to drive? Uh, here we are. Hey, watch. Okay. Here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! Are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. And no guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. All right, let's uh head on over. What do you mean? 
ointment for private matters. Oh my god. Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Have a good day now. Bye now. Oh my god. Come on. This is everything. Look at you all dressed Here. up, Sadie. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Sure. Ha! So, you get everything? I think so. And some... New clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. <laughs> Especially not where we found you. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. Howdy. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You for need you. to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? Oh shit. Alright, Sadie. God damn it. Get moved down. What the hell was that? They was trying to rob us. They was trying, but they weren't gonna get to. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down. I know. Just oh, God. Goddamn coward! I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. All right, I'll drive us back. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? We, we sure did. Not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good, but that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe, if he asks. But maybe not. Careful now. All right. Well, that was quite Who adventurous. Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, they did. Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway. 
Don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind boggles. Not a chance. You might as well get rid of that thought. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, I can. they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. All right, Sean, let's see what you up to, boy. Arthur! Oh. Where's Tilly? Why are you wearing that? You freeze to death. Hosea. I heard her. Where'd she go? Oh, she's there playing dominoes. A game which I have no clue as to how to play. Arthur! Hey, Uncle. Warren Arthur. Alright. Uh, Sean. My boy. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Sounds you like a good just lead. keep your cool, you hear me? Hey, boy. Heading All back right. in. Let's do this. Okay. Lead on. Yeah. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Lack of north to stretch. Not far from the state line. Alright. Hey. So. What were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around. Looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. <laughs> and he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. 
How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. Sure about this. How long has he been with the gang, anyway? You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. <laughs> I had a train job with the oil wagon. Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope, didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, torn me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. I mean, from the way Dutch tells it, Blackwater was an absolute clusterfuck. So, oh, you can't really have control over that. Where are we heading up here? Let's leave the horses here and go the rest on foot. Don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll we'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Were they just up over the hill? I don't see a cabin or anything on the map. Mm. Look, there's one on the outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Hey, keep it down. How's that sneaking up in them? About five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Ooh. Hands up, Arthur. Here come the rest of them. To your pals here. Out. Out the door. Okay, okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here, and don't look back. 
go. Alright, let's uh just take what we can from these bodies. So here we are. You got some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Cheese. Can't take the bourbon. Told you we take them, no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. All right. Stash box. You find anything yet? Shut we up. Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Ooh. Hey, it's over there. Double action revolver. Money clip. Move plank. Here we go. Hey, this is more like it. Good work. Hey. What about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Yeah, you're right. Always got something different. So, where are we? We're up here. I want to head into Rhodes to the gun store for a minute. Check something out, see if we unlocked anything. Might do a little bit of hunting along the way, too. Especially since not a single one of the missions has shown up yet. We're riding away from them. <laughs> They're mission in roads? There's a fence up here. Let's let's stop by. Welcome, Mister. First time to my shop. Yes, sir. Sir, glad to have a new patient come through. Mm hmm. All right, down to the gun store. Wait, did I accidentally sell that moonshine? Charles needed it. Hold on. Welcome, mister. First time to my shop. Weapons, provisions. Yes, okay, I can buy that back. Hello, sir. Glad to have a new patient come through. What? Oh, yeah, and we got that uh, deck collection up here, too.
Here you go, sir. Thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from right here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, you reckon they was... Looking they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, okay. Now oh, they're reporting on uh what happened up in Valentine. We gotta not make it known we was up there a little while ago. Oh, I don't want no trouble. No, 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 please don't go, please don't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This oh my one God. might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. Really? Shit. Can I, uh, I can't ask no more further questions. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. Hey. Well, hello. Don't think I've seen you before. Hello. Let's, uh, do a little ah. shopping before we help him. Let me have a look. So nothing new so far. And I don't think I need any uh, ammo. This here store's as proud and fine as the town that lives in. Oh yes. Well, it'll. Oh hey. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. Prove it. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your paw that way. Oh my oh, god. Oh thank god. Don't shoot me, please. Just just leave us be. No, the Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Okay. Please, please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. I can't see the chain. Holy oh, shit! Oh, oh, finally! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. Son. Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that riverbank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. 
Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this the rifle I already got. Oh shit. Move out of the darn way. I'm sorry man, I ain't gonna kill you, but next time, if I must. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right. The, uh... Huh. It's gone. Was it a specific time of day that I need to be out here? Like what? Hey, boy. You okay, boy? Hey, boy. Can I? Let me give him head pads. Or that. Okay. I don't think there's anything I need in the general store. Gun shop was a bit of a bust. But. <laughs> well. I don't, I don't really think you can classify that as a bust. It was, uh, it was different. <laughs> Did you just the game? Yeah, I know. All right. Who? Who's chastising me? Okay, but I think when we return, we're gonna, uh, help out Dutch and probably the Greys or whoever whoever he's hanging out with over there. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're on YouTube, on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.